EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the east side of the Bay Bridge in Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. And they will not get a chance to...
Return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and six, just inside the 30. On second down, Jacobs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I got you. I got you. 36, 36. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. One. Later one. Carr defers to Jacobs on the draw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Go! Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. It's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. The tackle made there by Tack McKinley. Brings up second and seven at the Falcons 47 yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Right there. Throwing his car on third down. And he locates Luke Wilson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four at the 20-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. It's complete to Brown, right side. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. They'll run it with Jacobs. 
And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it? I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. What now? You ready? 54. You don't let me read. You don't let me read. Let's go, baby. Shift, shift. Shift. Check nine, check nine. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon deep? And he's in! Touchdown, Raiders! Keith Smith taking it in. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This is taken at his four. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Falcons now come up first and 10, right at the 30. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. 54, right there, right there. Hey, Echo! Silver, Silver. Express! Mike's 5-4. Mike's 5-4. I'm coming. 637. Hey, Delta. On third down. Car. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. After the interception, here's Ryan. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Tavecchio good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Shotgun now for Carr. They're able to locate Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. 
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. That's it, baby. We got work. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Third quarter starts with a run by Freeman. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Freeman again. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 42-yard line. Out of the gun, they give to Freeman. Vontez perfect, the one to get him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now this throw caught left side, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, we're going to sell the go. Just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Throwing now. Ryan on first down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Nevin Lawson with a pick. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Carr Got a man over the middle It's Williams The reception good for seven It's third down The Raiders on third down They've been good Three for four thus far Here it's third and three Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Right there, right there. Let's go. 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 Let's
Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Here now, Johnny Townsend. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Credit the sack to Brandon Marshall. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. The Falcons will go for it. It's Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Now it's Ryan getting it out left side to Sanu. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. to the running game. It's Freeman. And some room to work. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, 53 yards. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio. And that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. Now Ryan on first down. Looking for the end zone. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And it's second down. To throw again. Ryan. 
Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. But it's a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From the gun, it's Ryan. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down, it's Jacobs. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike, 50, 54. Watch the pass. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Room here to run. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Tavecchio good on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Side, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And a big loss here as he's taken down. 